Here is another problem that one of our viewers had. They were trying to use a string to lay out some concrete stairs. And this is a common method used by a lot of concrete stair builders. They simply locate a string in the correct position and then use that string to position all of their treads and risers correctly. Now here's the problem that our viewer was having they couldn't figure out where the string would be located. And I do not blame you. I had a difficult time with this one at first also because I wanted to position the string in the same way most of us would when trying to connect two walkways together. And that would simply be to go point to point. And I'm not saying you can't use this method, but I am going to go out on a limb and suggest that it's not going to look the same as this here. So let's go ahead and whip around here and take a look at what you would be dealing with if you just simply connected the upper landing and the lower landing together with a string coming off of each corner. And of course, this is what you'd be dealing with before the stairs were built. Now all you need to do to solve this problem will be to extend the tread measurement if each one of the treads is 11 inches in depth. Just simply extend the string line 11 inches on the bottom to create a string line that you will be able to use to lay out each one of your steps. And I'm pretty sure I have a video on this already. However, if I don't, I will make one. And of course, if I do, I will put a link to that video in the video description box. And I'm not about to suggest that you build your stairs like this because the concrete would need to go a little further in both directions and the slope of the hillside might need to change also. And you can see here where the slope of the hillside does not match this line here. However, it did match the other line when we connected the two walkways together from the front points and the back point of each walkway.